I'm Nalo Hopkinson. I'm a science fiction and fantasy writer. There are a couple of classics I read when I was a kid. Dante's uh, Inferno was definitely one of them. And I particularly remember the description when you get down to the final circle of hell. And you, you finally see the devil, because I've been waiting for that. <laughs> this is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, 1818. Thought by some to be the first science fiction novel. It has never been out of print. And the first science fiction novel was written by a woman. This is Fahrenheit 451, uh, the edition that has the asbestos cover, since it's about book burning. It was a pleasure to burn. It was a special pleasure to see things eaten, to see things blackened and changed. My first science fiction I read in the covers of Playboy magazine, uh, Kurt Vonnegut's Welcome to the Monkey House. I don't need to remind you girls, the sheriff went on, that a nothing head is very sensitive from the waist down. If Billy the poet somehow slips in here and starts making trouble, one good kick in the right place will do wonders. As an eight-year-old girl, <laughs> I had no idea what he was on about, so it was fascinating to me. <laughs> the Clarion Anthology. Clarion is a science fiction fantasy writing workshop, and I'd never heard of this, and it was the first time I realized you could learn to write this stuff. It wasn't just somebody out there, and somehow books appeared. Borderland. This was one of the first shared world anthologies. You build on each other's characters. The rule is supposed to be that you don't kill each other's characters off, and yeah, writers are competitive. All right, Stranger Things Happen, Kelly Link. I couldn't figure out what she'd done. I just knew that I loved it. And, um, and it, it was so far above anything I was capable of doing at the point. I couldn't even be jealous. It'd be like being jealous of a mountain. Got Samuel R. Delaney's Babel 17. Oh my God. You read a Delaney sentence and then you have to go and sit down and have a meal and take a breath or two. And the ideas come so hard and fast. It, it's, uh, that man hacked my brain. Ursula K. Le Guin, her work is just so astoundingly rigorous and fierce and joyful at the same time. I can read the simple thing, a, a line like, he sat down and told the child the story of the stars and I lost it. <laughs> it was just, I just lost it. And I'm really not sure why. I should have been more emotional at the point where he tells the family that their family member has died, but it was that something about that last line. It gets me every time. <laughs>